Okay, this video is going to show you how you can use your shared space where you can share resources between you and one particular class. So what you're looking for is this icon here. Now I'm on Dunshockle Community College site at the moment, um, but you will have this particular icon on your particular page. So it's called My Classes. So when you click in here, this is a password protected area and it will ask you to sign in. The only people who can access this site are you and your students in that class. So for the purpose of this video, um, I'm allowed into this one particular class, um, but this obviously normally wouldn't be the case. So here I'm allowed access into first year music 2012 set A. So this first year music class are doing their junior cert in 2012 um, because next year if you bring on another first year class you may get confused. So we just put in the year they do their state exam. So all you do is click on it and it will open. Okay, so when you come in here the first thing to do is to check the site members names. Now, a couple of things on this. We obviously use your teaching group number that you submitted. So first of all, check that the names are correct and check for any errors and omissions. Just check, for example, have you got everyone and they're alphabetical by first name, I'm afraid. So you'll just need to take out your teacher's journal and go down through them. Occasionally, there may be names and this may happen um, or sorry, there may be mistakes. This may happen when we have two students of the same name in the county um, and there may be a slight error. So just just go down through it. Now, we ourselves cannot add a new user. If you need a new student member entered here, you just email Brian Monaghan and let him know or email myself. Or if, for example, Dylan isn't in this music class and he leaves, again, you just need to email myself or Brian and let us know. So that's the first thing to keep an eye on is this list here and obviously check it from year to year. The next thing then you have down is links. So this is a, a very easy section to do. Okay, so simply click on the word add new link and a box opens up. So here I can simply type in um, a new link. Now I find it easier to actually have the page open. So I'm just going to open a new tab. Okay, so for the purpose of this exercise, I'm just going to go to the RTE website. Okay, it's coming in there now. Okay, so this could be, I could have gone off and gone into music or some particular section. But just for today, I'm going to copy this link. So you just simply left click to highlight it, then right click, copy, back onto your links page. And come down here and you simply go right click, paste. And you put it in there. And to make it easier for our students, again, if you type in what the actual address is, rather than pasting in the um, address again, um, makes it easier because sometimes you have a very long URL address that will be repeated. Then you simply select OK. You can obviously add notes in if you want. OK, and your link will be listed here. All you have to do then is anytime you click on these, it will open directly to that page. So you or your students can be directed dire straight out to that page. For you, if you want to basically take down new links, you always click on the heading. So if I click on the heading links, this opens the back catalogue. And from here, you can do a couple of things. Now, I'm just going to work with the RTE website. Rest your mouse without clicking and over to the little triangle. Left click and you can either edit the item. For example, you may have a spelling mistake on the word website and you want to change it. Or in this case, I'm going to delete it down. So if I just hit select delete, and select OK, the RT website will disappear. OK, so it's gone there now. And using the internal links, if I go, you go back here to my main page, brings me back to the, my main section. OK, so the next part here is announcements. OK, very simply again, add new announcement. Our page is now open. OK, and I'm just going to say click here to watch video. OK, I'm just going to simply select OK. 
So that announcement has gone on here and it says click here to watch OK. What I want to do is actually bring the students down to one of the links I have down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the link. So I want them to go to the Beatles page. So click on yesterday. And what I do is I, oops, I'll just stop the Beatles there. OK, I'm going to copy this URL. So I left click to highlight it, right click copy using your back button. You go back to your page. OK, so I've copied the link. I now open up this information here. So I left click on I page is now open. This opens that announcement. I now edit that item. OK, what I can do is if, if I highlight, click here to watch a video. I can then come over here and select the hyperlink tool, which is the world with the chain. Click that. OK, text to display is click here. That's fine. Just simply left click into the address and right click paste. Select OK. All right, what I can do to make that stand out more is I can highlight it, bold it, red, make the font a little bit bigger, and select OK. Now on my students, click here. It'll bring them straight to the video I've uploaded. And you can use that, you can use that um, hyperlink to any, any page, both that you have stored down in your links, and also you can hyperlink it down here to a document. OK, so the main probably section that you're going to use is shared documents. Now, just a word of caution. You can't really move documents around in the SharePoint library. OK, you have to create your folders first and then upload your documents into it. So you kind of think, you know, decide yourselves, are you going to create folders based on particular topics or particular units or particular chapters? So for this example, I'm going to create three folders called Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, and I'll show you how you can upload then a file into it. So to work with a shared document library, and you really probably need to um, show this part to the students just to show them, you click on the heading Shared Document. When you click on shared document, this back catalog opens and from here you create your folders. Don't just um, upload random documents in here because it gets confusing for the students. So you click on the little triangle, new, new folder. Anything with a red star, you must give a name. So I'm just going to call this unit one and select OK. I'm going to create another one, new, new folder unit 2. The only people who can create